This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an introduction to Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video training, I'll show you how to create a custom effect in motion for use in Apple Final Cut Pro. We'll create an effect for Final Cut, we'll add and modify drop zones, we'll adjust scale and position, we'll publish effect controls which allows us to control an effect created in motion inside Final Cut, and we'll modify an effect inside Final Cut. Because I want to do it as an effect, I'm going to select an effect, and again, because of timing, I'm just going to set it to 30 frames, click Open. We've seen already that a drop zone allows us to create a placeholder inside motion that is then filled from inside Final Cut. Well, here I need four placeholders, one for each video in each quadrant. So let's select this and let us go to the inspector properties and let's set scale to 50%. And we're going to drag this so it goes up in the top corner. The thing that's magical about Final Cut that I really like about its effects, unlike Premiere, is that by putting the center, uh, the zero, zero point of a clip in the center rather than the top left corner, it makes calculating effects a whole lot easier. So now we're going to go to Object, and we're going to add a drop zone, and add a drop zone, and add a drop zone. Again, these drop zones are all placeholders. And we're going to call this one Top Right. We're going to call this one, which is the first one, top left. We're going to call this one bottom right. We're going to call this one bottom left. And we'll take this, drag it up here. Stacking order is not really important. Top right, now we know the numbers. We know that it's uh, 320 by 180, and the only difference is whether it's positive or negative, and scale of 50%. Here, we're going to scale this not 540%, 50%. Scale this to be 50%. Scale this to be 50%. And this time, I'm going to drag it bottom left. We'll tuck it over here. Bottom right, we'll tuck it over there. And now we'll get the numbers to work. This is 320, negative 180, and this is 320, negative 320, and negative 180. Notice the numbers are always the same, which is the difference in sign, positive or negative. But I need to have a border in here. How do I do that? Go back to our rectangle tool again rectangle and let's just draw a rectangle over the whole thing. We'll pull it underneath our objects down under here and select the rectangle. We'll go to shape, change the color to white and now we have a white rectangle underneath. Here it gets really cool. Watch this. Select the clip, hold the command key down, move it three pixels up. One, two, three, up arrow. Three pixels left. One, two, three. Select the next one. Three pixels up, the top right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Select the bottom left. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom right. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now we have our border. <laughs> Uh, anything to get it done quickly. And now we're set. So we go up and file, save as. I'm going to store it in the Larry group. Remember, a new group, a new category is down here. Store it in Larry. I'm going to call it Quad Split. Go to Final Cut. This is an effect. It's not a generator, which means I need to go to the Effects panel. Go to Larry. There's Larry. There's my quad split and drop it on top of the clip. It automatically grabs the clip that it's applied to, tucks it up into the top left corner. So how do I adjust it? Select the clip, open up the inspector, and there we see drop zones. So I click in this drop zone, and I find a fish clip, and we click here. Now here's a secret that I didn't know until yesterday. 
the in of the clip is wherever you put this scanning bar, this the skimmer. I want the clip to start right there. Put the skimmer where you want the in to be, and that becomes your new in. Put the skimmer where you want the in to be. No, I want that one. And then I click on this one, and we'll go back to here, right there. Click on this drop zone, and we'll click here. We'll hide this. Apply the clip. Go to the beginning. Space bar. Look at that. Is that not cool? Is there a limit to the number of drop zones you put in? No. Is there a limit to how you design them? No. Oh, let's go back to the effect. Control click on it. Open it in motion. And see the rectangle right down here. When I go to inspector shape with the rectangle selected, see where it says fill color. All the way over here is this downward pointing arrow. With the downward pointing arrow, if you click it and say publish, and now save it, what I've just done is I've said I can now change that color inside Final Cut. Let's just delete this. So now we'll take our quad split, drop it on top, select the clip, open the inspector, click in the top one. Let's go with our fish right there. Click in the second, go with this fish. Go with the third, click on the turtle, right about there. And now, apply clip. With the clip selected, notice as I scroll farther down, this new option appeared called Fill Color. Click it, and I can now change the color of that border because I published the color spec from inside motion, which makes it easy for me to adjust inside Final Cut and all the clips work. What, five minutes of time? How hard would that be to do inside Final Cut? Wouldn't be hard, but I'd have to do it each time. It wouldn't give me a template. Now I have a template. If all I need is one quad split, I could do it in Final Cut. But if I have five or six or seven quad splits, look at how much time I just saved by creating it once inside motion, giving me the controls that I need to change the color or anything else. Any parameter can be published to Final Cut. That's where those settings come from in all of our effects. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an introduction to Apple Motion 5.5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 304. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.